Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode and in this episode uh, we will set up a router so basically we will set up a navigation so we'll go, we can go through our uh, home page, product page and contact page so we will set up our navigation so guys, uh, uh, let's get started and if you are new on my channel so please do subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends okay, so let's get started so first of all, um, I am uh, going back to my terminal and uh, let's uh, for that i'm going to install a package uh, which is um, uh, react router dom so npm i react router dash dom okay so the package is installing okay the package installed successfully let's uh, run the project again so i'm going to close this router and the navbar okay so navbar is open so okay close this app.js and index.js so we also need index.js so let's come back to our index.js page and here we need to wrap our application application using router dom so how to do that so for that react router dom provide uh, a package or a method which is called browser router uh, when we use browser router so it will uh, wrap our application uh, on a routing facility so because react is a single page application so here uh, we using this uh, package we are going to manipulate our routing system so, so let's import that so it's not showing the import option but it's no worries we can import by manually we wrap our application using browser router so that now we can use any routing method or routing uh, system in our application so let's uh, uh, go to our app.js so here here you can see that we are rendering our home page uh, here but uh, we don't want to do that we want to render here our routing so that how to do that i am going to start a fragment and inside the fragment we are going to use routes so here we are going to define our all routes okay so here for our home page say route and uh, path is uh, equal to one and for the element we are going to use home so this time i'm going to remove this one from here and just uh, import this as i'm just uh, doing it wait okay copy this and uh, import route and routes okay and also import uh, fragment from the react so this is our routing setup but we need also a fallback route so where we will send our error page okay so now let's uh, go to a top map bar and uh, so here uh, inside our uh, container we have a nav brand and uh, and also we have nav link so i'm going to convert this nav link to our react uh, router dom nav link and hr is to two and now let's say is path okay home and uh, it's a uh, home link and here we am going to provide a class name because we remove the because we remove the bootstrap nav link so here pass the nav link class all right so let's to import this one nav link so here you can see nav link from our react router dom and okay so also change this one to nav link nav link and uh, pass this to slash and it should be to pass the class as a nav bar brand or uh, routing has been completed for this uh, home page so we need uh, two more router nav link and it should be a product products and this one should be contact so now let's uh, go back to our page and here you can see that class name 
to Mablin, which will be Map Dash Link. Okay, so let's go back to our page and see this small situation. Ah. If I click on product page and you can see it's close to product page, but this product route we haven't defined yet. Okay, so it's goes to contact page. Okay, so let's change it to map link. I'll refresh it again. So if I click on contact page, it goes to contact page, but we haven't defined this uh, link yet. So what what happened if this uh, route has uh, not found? So let's uh, uh, define a fallback route. So here I am going to define a fallback route. So route. Okay, so path uh, is path is equal to star. So if not found, then just right now let's uh, element is not found okay so now let's uh, go to our page refresh the page so if i go to shop now home page is working so if i go to product page so it's showing that page not found so that means uh, this is our fallback route is working perfectly so page not found okay now it's time to create our uh, other pages we are going to use other pages means our um, product page so let's say route and uh, path let's say products and then element we haven't created that element yet so let's say element and so i'm going to use product so products and um, then and do the same just uh, copy and paste so products and here i'm going to use contact so here i'm going to use contact okay so now now we need to create these uh, pages so let's go to our pages folder and here i'm going to create another file it's a products dot js and another file name contact dot j contact dot j okay and i'm going to rfc okay let's say conversion this is contact page and return fragment from react and then here i'm going to use our top map bar and then footer importing manually is harassment so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and do the same in our product page because we need that so and here i'm going to export default contact okay our contact page is done so now let's uh, go to our home page app.js page and import that so here we have imported uh, home so let's say import contact from pages slash contact okay and uh, do the same for product page okay. product page so let's uh, say fragment fragment and here i'm going to use top map bar and then i'm going to input our footer footer okay now import that uh, page in our uh, here contact page and then pages slash products okay. 
so we imported our source uh, path to this desktop now let's uh, go back to our browser refresh it and check that we are our routing has been working in our click on product page so it goes to our product click on contact page it goes to our contact so it's saying that hey this is not found so let's uh, check our routing something nested routes path and go to our app.js and check what's wrong here products path and top map bar give it the slash okay now then goes back to products and now it's okay it's products now it's contacts now it's home page okay so our routing is working perfectly so now let's uh, go back to our uh, live demo that we have a slider here so let's uh, go to our components directory and now create a component so here i'm going to use a slider create a folder slider and inside the slider i'm going to create two files uh, for one file called header slider header slider dot uh, js and another file for css header slider dot css okay <laughs> so for uh, we don't need any css here because uh, we are not going to use any custom css so i'm going to just delete this file because we really don't need it and header slider say rafce and okay so and uh, compile save and let's close these pages and come back to our home page and import header slider okay so we bring our slider here so here you can see we are getting our header slider so now let's uh, design our header slider remove this option and let's uh, fragment import that fragment from react and now use carousel from react so variant variant drag and we can pass style max width so it's our inline style max height 600 pixel and inside this carousel we are going to define our carousel item so uh, carousel dot item and inside that item uh, we I are having an image first of all we are having an image image class name so image has a class name block dis display block and uh, white 100 percent and the image would have a source and also uh, we are going to define some custom style style so it's inline style uh, for that you may use uh, another css file to styling 100 bh and uh, object uh, fit cover and also we are having a source here so source double slash I'm, I'm going to just copy the source and uh, we need this image in our public directory so let's go to our public directory create another folder image and inside that image we are having slider folder okay and i'm going to going to paste two item so this is our three images from here if i goes back to here and if i refresh that so you can see we have that image slider okay but uh, this uh, height is not working because i put it 10 bh so now it's 100 bh you can see it's come with a full image okay so right now we have one image and uh, and we are having a carousel caption here so i'm just going to copy and paste so carousel caption so class name bg white and uh, h5 and a tag and a button okay so we need to import button from uh, react bootstrap so carousel and say 
So, la știți ce caut this care să le caption și să work in perfectly. And now just uh, copy this item and uh, paste it two times and just uh, change the image name, paste it here. And third slider is on blender picture, kitchen stuff. Just to change it to paste it. So now if I close back to the browser and then you can see that we are having three sliders. So yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so our slider part is done. So guys, uh, that's all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, uh, make sure you have subscribed and uh, like this video and share it with your friends. And yes, definitely, if you have any question, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible.